Dear brothers and sisters, last night I had a dream about the strawberry harvest being over, with the exception of one big plump red strawberry that the harvesters had overlooked. The rest of the tree was dry twigs and dead leaves. The harvesters were indeed looking for red berries and indeed they found a ripe cranberry on a vine covered in ripening cranberries. The summer season has ended, but we can still hope for an autumn, even a late autumn, harvest. The harvesters looking for red is key, a reminder that the fruitful one, overlooked by many, but hand-picked by God, died on a tree on the cross and shed his red blood so that we could be connected to the vine and given life and mature and be fruitful while waiting for the harvest of our souls. Strawberries are distinctly loved around the world for their sweet flavor while also being considered healthy low in sugar. Cranberries, on the other hand, have a noticeably bitter, sharp taste, and most people prefer not to eat them raw or unsweetened. But we may sweeten cranberry juice by adding strawberry juice, for example. The sweet strawberry transforms the cranberry into something more palatable for sweeter communion. Jesus lovingly died on the tree on the cross and shed his red blood to save us, redeem us, give us new life, and transform us. Jesus performs miracles, the first of which in the New Testament was turning water into wine, the best of wine. A couple nights ago, I had a dream that I was walking into a Sunday school class and a large rectangular light brown wooden entertainment center was set up and opened up so a video could be shown for the lesson. The question was in the class, how does Moses tie into the New Testament? God had demonstrated and explained his holiness to Moses in the burning bush and in the wilderness. But Moses broke God's laws by not only committing murder, but also by simply getting angry. And therefore, he died in the wilderness and was not allowed to enter the promised land. God's holiness requires perfection. Jesus' death on the tree on the cross covers over our sins like freshly fallen snow, his blood covering, covering over our sins as well. He died and shed his blood to give the whole world eternal life. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, the one who was rejected, the one who sweetly loves us and gave himself for us so that whoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. Cling to him. The harvest of souls is soon and soon we will be going to the room upstairs to heaven to be in God's presence and nothing unholy can enter. The time is short and the hour is late. Don't delay. Don't doubt. Reach out to those who are delaying and doubting and hesitating and bring them along with us and bring their whole families. Pray their whole families come into the kingdom. Help bring in the full harvest during this late season, even during this late season. People who've been sleeping like babies are starting to wake up to the truth. As one of my college roommates used to say, wake up, wake up, wake up. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Amen.